As young billionaires, most of them live as men who want to be to known as world bosses, and try to look as fancy as possible at every occasion. Before their death, they were saturated with Moet champagne, luxury cars, beautiful houses and girls, and were taken to their final resting place in expensive coffins and in style. Though many say money is only for the living, the following billionaires refuse to live it behind. Ober Karambi. Rolls-Royce coffin price, $6,000. A coffin which resembled a top-of-the-range car, colleagues who flew in from South Africa and some of the A-listers on the Harare socialite scene. Well, it was a funeral for a king, in this case, a king of bling whose death, in a car crash, has been the talk of town for the whole week. It appears South Africa-based dealer, Obert Karambi, lived large, and, his farewell at his farm in Beatrice, was quite a big deal. There were even reports that some of Karambi's female counterparts were turned away from the funeral by the wife. Known as Boss Abi, his coffin left people's tongues wagging. Resembling a top-of-the-range car, which was in line with his love for flashy vehicles, the coffin created a lot of debate on social media circles. Ober Karambi buried in the dark, Zimbabweans have been left speculating after, Mbinga Obert Karambi was buried at night, it is rare amongst, Zimbabweans for a person to be buried at night, but we all know that in darkness he lived, in darkness he died yes in eternal darkness. Many were left wondering what could have caused his family to bury him late using torches, with some concluding that there might be black magic involved. However, Obert Karambi's family did not issue a statement on the issue. Some said, traditionally, kings were the ones who were buried at night, not common souls. Boss Kangara. Grave price, $8,000. The grave has beautiful paving and tiling with the inscription on the tombstone. Kudzane Kangara, died on 10 January 2021. And is covered with shiny glass all around. Even in death, the casket demonstrated that a person of means was departing, and a couple of US dollars had to be buried with him, probably to give him a soft landing to the world of the dead. We might not have seen the type and quality of food he ate, but on the evidence of his houses, vehicles, generosity and even number of wives, he had three official ones and several unofficial, Boss Kangara, as he was better known by those around him, clearly did not lack anything on earth, possibly from the time he established himself in the gold business. Janimbi. Versace Coffin, $12,000. Zimbabwean millionaire genius Katagari, Janimbi, died in an accident with three other friends, during a head collusion with a Honda Fit, which later crashed into a tree and caught fire. Janimbi coffin was made with Versace designers, and his family made it known that he will be buried in Versace coffin, which costs $12,000. While Janimbi might now be under the surface and unable to call the shots, the vast empire he left behind is alleged to have divided his family. The late flamboyant socialite was mourned in a way that will probably go down in the annals of history as the best, with some of his rich friends throwing money in his grave and Moet champagne. Mugabe's family splashed $20,000 on Zimbabwe former President Robert Mugabe coffin. Zimbabwe's former President Robert Mugabe was buried in a tamper-proof casket because he feared that people would use my body, according to his family. He was buried at Kutama village, his rural home village, on Saturday, near his mother, instead of the National Heroes Acre in Harare. Mugabe's nephew and family spokesperson, Leo Mugabe, said he wanted to be buried next to his mother, but there is no space there, so the family elected to bury him, at a private ceremony, in the same village as his mother. Asked about speculation around the family changing his casket, Leo said, Originally, why we changed is because we wanted a tamper-proof casket because you know, with rituals and things like that, people are really after his body, body parts, so we wanted something that was tamper-proof. That is why the casket was changed in the first place. He explained that Mugabe had previously expressed concern about what would happen to his body after death. He said to his wife, If and when I'm gone, don't leave my body. Be careful, people want to use my body. It was him who said it to the former first lady, 